What's up guys, James back with Heel Toad. We've got everything dialed in. We're just going through the process of making test passes and sending everything out to the tuner to get dialed in. I'm about to check my oil before I go out and make another uh, fourth gear pull tonight. So, but I did want to show you guys one thing before we head out, one mistake not to make. Make sure you don't mount this the wrong way. So I had it rotated up 90 degrees counterclockwise from where it's at right now. And what happens is this fitting right here that runs to the turbo inlet gets pinched shut by the hood and your turbo won't spool up like it's supposed to. So in the first couple maps I had, it was, sit, it was hitting peak boost not until like 5200 RPMs. So that was an issue and I checked lines, I made sure it was hooked up right. And as I was triple checking the lines for the third time, I just thought, you know what, let me make sure it's got hood clearance. Started to close it and I was like, oh, there's the pinch line he was talking about. So definitely don't wanna do that. Just make sure you get on. I had watched a couple videos a while back about how to install it. It was super simple to hook up, so I just thought, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'll just throw this on there. Double check your work. Make sure that it's going on there the way it's recommended to go. So other than that, I'm going to jump in there, check the oil real quick, make sure the oil levels are good since I did just change the oil, and then we'll head out. Oil levels look great. Coolant looks fine. Everything looks fine. I'm paranoid about my coolant as well, so I like to just triple check everything just every once in a while. I always, you know, try to check at least once a week, just check oil level, check coolant level, just, you know, check everything, make sure it's running good. Last thing you want to do is run into an issue where you realize something was wrong because something broke, as opposed to seeing that you're slowly losing a little bit of oil, burning oil, which is common in these cars with all the blow by and everything. Just whatever it is, you want to make sure you keep an eye on all that stuff, so. What's up guys? We are headed over to do the, to the, Mexico spot so we can make a test pass in fourth gear. So we're headed that way. I'm about to hit my buddy Josh up on the phone. He'll uh, check out the road before I get out there just to make sure we're free and clear of anything and everything we need to be paying attention to. Watch, this beamer's gonna, this beamer's just gonna jump in front of everybody. anymore I don't. How's it running? Dude, it's running great. Uh, tapped out at 21 and a half pounds of boost. All right, guys, we are headed out to go make another uh, test pass, get some uh, data logs for the tuner. Uh, everything's been going great so far as far as the tunes, getting them lined up. Ever since I fix, fixed that uh, pinched data log, or pinched, I mean, ever since I finished that pinched line to the turbo inlet, when the hood was closed, everything's been going great. What is up guys? Finally, the STI ran out of gas, so the tank should be bone dry. I've got some E85 I'm gonna throw in there, and then I am running down to the gas station to get some more, get a full tank of E85, and then finally, we can get Eric some data logs and we can start tuning on E85, which was the entire point of starting all of these mods in the first place. Did get interrupted by the uh, radiator which was nice but i mean at least now i have a brand new radiator definitely wouldn't have had that without running into that issue but we are set so time to get her fueled up and get her moving we are 
are full of E85. I didn't want to horse around with it too much on the way out here just because I had like two gallons of gas in there and it seemed like a bad idea to really push my luck with how much gas was in the car. But now we've got a full tank of E85 and I don't expect anything too crazy on the very first map, but I mean, hopefully we notice that it pulls a little harder at least. Um, it may, he may have it tuned to pull the same, I don't know. But we're about to find out first drive on E85. Uh, we did fill up at Kroger. When I initially tested those two gallons at uh, racetrack, they were E70. And I know a lot of the guys I know that run E85 swear by Kroger as far as getting the best blend. And the one at Kroger was E80, which is, you know, as far as I'm concerned, is really good, especially for the winter time. Um, I'll talk to Eric, see if he thinks on E80 if, you know, it'll need to be tweaked a little bit once we get into a summer blend where it's E85. A lot of times we get 90 or 95 around uh, these parts in Dallas, so we'll just have to see what it, um, you know, what it does. And I'll keep an eye on that, make sure it doesn't run lean. But other than that, I mean, E80 is golden as far as I'm concerned. What's up guys, we are out here uh, about to pull up to the spot, so we're going to make a one pass through just to make sure it's not too wet since it's been raining off and on today. So far the road seems great, we'll do a fourth gear pull, see how, uh, how she feels. What's up guys, we are wrapped up with getting the car tuned on E85. I sent the last couple logs out to Eric. He got it uh, dialed in where he liked it. We did the 200 mile run and he said that the logs look great so we're good to go. The car is feeling great on E85. The power delivery, the uh, bottom end and like second and third gear, that's, that immediate torque just feels fantastic. So I'm really happy with where we got the car at. It did, when I ran it through the virtual dyno, showed like 380-ish to the wheels. Now, I don't really believe that it's making 380 to the wheels. It's probably a lot closer to 340, 350 to the wheels, maybe 330. Um, but ultimately, that's not kind of what my goal was, was horsepower numbers for this build. So what I, what I am happy with is just the before and after logs. So I'll throw a couple of those logs up to the side. Maybe like the first log on E85, on, uh, e the first log on 93, and then the final tune on E85, just so we can have a good before and after comparison on kind of what we gain percentage-wise for this. So other than that, the car is pretty dialed in. It's in a good spot right now. I do want to get into some aesthetic mods, put the front lip that I have on it, maybe look at a front dif uh, rear diffuser, a front splitter, maybe some side skirt extensions different things like that right now because I don't really want to pull the motor at this point unless I absolutely have to. So thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you next time.